I am the Hooded Lit and welcome to my channel. I've been wearing this foundation for seven hours and it looks perfect. It doesn't look any different. There is no wear around my nose. There's, there's nothing. It looks great. I usually don't do intros, but I feel I needed to for this one in particular because I went through a lot with it. Not because there's a problem with it, but because I applied it on top of makeup because I was so eager to get it on and it looked fantastic. And then I was looking forward to, okay, I gotta put it on by itself and I used the wrong color. So I put on another layer shortly after it. So first I have, you know, a foundation that's been on for six hours and I put it on top and it was fine, it was great. The next day I put it a second layer on a few minutes after the first because the color was wrong and today is I'm doing the right color, one layer, and it's fantastic. And I just wanted to kind of run you through why I decided to keep this footage in here because some people do like to put a lot of foundation on their face and I wanted to see, okay, how's it going to wear when you're wearing two pretty heavy layers. And I'll give you a hint. It wore really, really well. I'm going to give you another hint. I love this. If that's all you need to hear, then you can click off now and know that somebody loves this. You should also know my skin type is aging. It's not dry, but I do put a lot of products and um, hydrating products, moisturizing products, serums, and sunscreen before I put my foundation on. And I'm kind of giving away the house right now. I love this. I just do, 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 do. I'm so thrilled. I want to give, you know, Rihanna a big fat kiss for making a color that works for me because I don't think this has happened to me in a long time, and I mean two decades, where I found something that works for me color-wise like this one does. I do have one actually that works really well, but it doesn't have such good coverage. So without further ado, here is everything that I've done over the past two and a half days, I guess, with this foundation. The sale's coming up. I'm putting it in my cart, and here we go. I'm super, super excited about today's video because everybody's releasing foundations, and that is my thing. Last Sephora sale, there was nothing new out. I haven't bought a foundation from Sephora since last August, and I'm ready. And I'm so delighted that the companies are kind of complying with my desire by giving me a lot of things to choose from. So the Pat McGrath, I love the way it made my skin look after I powdered it, um, but it's a really tricky application for me. So my face, as you can probably see, is kind of shiny and it's kind of, you know, it's got product on it. I put all of this on an hour ago and there's still some stuff going on and that's just the way it is. There's no one who naturally has skin this emollient. One reason I'm really, really excited about this is I got these yesterday at Sephora. I got two, I got three foundations to try. And I was so excited that I decided to just go ahead and put it on. I had put on my foundation at about eight, nine in the morning, and I put on what I'm about to put on over it around three in the afternoon, and it looked amazing. <laughs> so I don't know what's going to happen here. But I am here to try the Fenty Hydrating. Yay! It looks so nice. I got two shades. One's a little light, one's a little dark. And I put on the dark last night. I kind of felt good about it. So I'm going to do it again. I Believe me, it's a little too dark. I'm aware. I got a uh, 260. And let's go in. and I applied it with my fingers. This foundation is a teeny bit thick to me. And I'm just gonna do the same application I did last night. Yeah, this is way dark, okay. 
My light, my light wasn't fantastic when I put this on because it was so uh, late in the day. So this is super dark, but it's fine. All right, you guys, a little bit of a change of plan. It's 11.30 now. Immediately after I finished shooting, I went and loaded this into my computer, and I found that the color, which I thought was great yesterday, late afternoon, was really impossibly too orange on me, even though it's a neutral color. Yesterday, you know, I was wearing a tank, and with my shoulders and my chest and the face, they all seemed to kind of relate. Yes, I did look bronzed, but I was kind of going for it. I was kind of enjoying it, and now, uh, loading that in, the camera doesn't lie. The camera is much more accurate than any mirror that I have going on here because I have different kind of light in each room and different kind of artificial light in each room, but the camera kind of tells the truth and the truth was, yikes, that's some scary shit. So I came back and I put on some more. I mixed together the 230, which is a teeny bit too light for me, with the 260, and I applied it on top of what I already had. Now, at first I was thinking this is not going to be a very fair test for the foundation, but the truth is there are women out there who really like to pound on the foundation. So this particular test today will be for the gals who like to pound it on. I feel like it's a little heavy. I feel a teeny bit greasy, which doesn't happen to me very often, but I don't look greasy. And when I look close up on the mirror, but eight times, I think it's looking pretty decent. It is a little bit in the fold. And right here, when I have the old skin falling down, it's not looking super cute. But on the forehead, it looks lovely. Um, I did powder it, and as you can see, even though I powdered it, the radiance is coming through. When I look in a normal mirror in the bathroom at maybe a distance of three feet, I think the skin looks really, really nice. Even in this eight times mirror, I think it looks nice. I just see stuff that I'm not in love with. I've had this on for maybe an hour. I'm going to try to zoom in. Not so much on this side, but on this side. It seems to be accumulating a teeny bit in the folds. And right here, I don't really love this uh, skin right here. It looks okay, don't get me wrong. I don't feel that it's settling in. Oh, I have a pimple. That's really rare. It's not from this, obviously. On the forehead, I think it looks really nice. And in the 11s, it doesn't appear to be uh, settling in those. So, again, if you're pounding on the foundation, it's not so bad. Um, you do have to really work it in with a beauty blender because it, it can get a little cakey looking otherwise. It's just to press everything in. It benefits from that pressing action. All right, so I will be back in a couple of hours, maybe around four o'clock or so, before I lose too much light, so you can get an idea of how it's wearing on the skin, if this accumulation gets worse, or if it just kind of stops right here, and we'll see you then. I'm back. It's about a quarter to two, and I just wanted to show you what is going on on my face. I'm really enjoying the color, and it hasn't settled into the folds when I do this. When I look like this, with my face relaxed, I don't think it looks so bad. The 11s don't look so hot, but I can't say foundation has settled into it. It's almost as if it missed, it missed the 11s altogether. I am feeling that my 11s really kind of change a lot, and it depends very much on how much water I'm drinking. And I know the last couple of days I haven't been drinking a lot of water. A lot of coffee, yes, but a lot of water, not so much. So mm, I don't know if I can blame the makeup for that. My under eyes are a hot mess. That's pretty much my life. But when I did add the foundation, I also put a different concealer on so I have 
probably just too much concealer on right now and I'm showing the dehydration. I'm just going to leave it alone. I don't want to mess with it. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can get an idea. And this has been on, oh gosh, I forgot what time I started. I think this has been on since 9 o'clock. And I have powdered this. I'm not sure if I said that in the last one. So I'm going to zoom you in so you can get an idea. And I'm going to go uh, run some errands, but I wanted to get you now when the light is really nice because by the time I come back, the light will be quite different and it's all about the light when we're talking about color. I'm really trying to get as natural lighting as I can get. So for those of you who are like me and have a really hard time finding a good foundation color, maybe some of my videos will be helpful for that. I'll be back later. All right, I am back for the final check-in on this. It's six o'clock, so this has been on for nine hours. And save for around the nose where the glasses were. And even there, it doesn't look terrible. I've seen worse. I'm looking in this mirror and it looks like I've got way too much light on. I'm just hardly getting any light from the window. So I apologize in advance. Just, it's hard to tell if this is going to work or not. Um, but the foundation looks good. It looks just as good as it did earlier. I'm going to put on my glasses. So this is like an 8X. It has not settled into my lines, although it kind of skipped my 11s. I was concerned that there would be settling in the smile lines. And there is a teeny bit right on this side. But guys, I'm looking, this is, these are like 20 times glasses, I think, and this is an 8x mirror, and I think it looks really pretty good. Um, and I'm wearing two layers of it, so that's not bad. I am liking it. I'm going to give it another try tomorrow, because today I put it on twice, which isn't really recommended, after I powdered, and I want to get a sense of what the color is, 230 by itself to see if that is, I can just buy one foundation if it turns out that I want to buy it. But I like it. I like the way it looks. It looks fresh all these hours later. So uh, this is kind of day two, but officially day one. And we're going to give it another try tomorrow. All right, this is my third try with the Fenty, the second try on camera. And my sunscreen has been absorbing for a good 30 minutes. Today I'm going to be using the color 230, which I thought might be a little too light for me, but let's give it a go and see what happens. Dot some on, and I'll be doing the hand application, finger application, and then I will go in with a sponge to drive everything home. The smell is so nice. I'm convinced that the smell is... I have a perfume that smells just like it, actually. I think it's heliotrope. A lot of people associate this smell with um, Play-Doh. I, I don't remember Play-Doh very well. <laughs> but it's possible. I feel like the center of the face is well done, but the sides of the face might need a little bit of work.
All right, there we go. Easy application. It was fine over my other products. There was no pilling, no incompatibility. So for application, I'm giving it an A+. I think the color is really nice. I finally got a mirror so I can see something a little bit. I'm gonna pull in a little bit so you can get a closer look. And this is as close as I can get. But here you go. The light is really nice right now. It's about 11.15 and finally getting some good light. So I think you're getting a good sense of what the color is and a good sense of what it's looking like on my skin. I am pleased. This is so much easier to apply than the Pat McGrath. It's a very nice dewy finish. It does feel a little tacky. That's a little bit concerning, but I'm gonna give it 15 minutes and see what is happening. This area right here, this area here, are kind of my problem areas, not always, but with this I'm a little concerned because it is a thicker foundation and sometimes foundation looks like it's sitting on top instead of, you know, really synergizing with the skin. And this is just kind of aging skin where you lose your elasticity, that's where it's showing on me and it shows that way I'm sure on a lot of women. But it looks really good. It just looks really shiny. There's no settling in my laugh lines. There's no settling in my levens. Although they look really deep today. And there's no settling in my forehead lines. I know I've been using the Laura Mercier powder a lot, pretty much exclusively, actually. But it's not my favorite powder. I, I really don't like that powder. It's just most of my makeup is upstairs. And I thought, well, I'll just bring down the powder I don't like that much. But I tend to be doing my makeup down here now. So more and more of my stuff is coming down into this room. And I decided I may as well bring a powder that I like a little bit better, which is the Hourglass. And let's see what happens. Definitely want to get the cheeks. I don't love a shiny cheek. And I'm going to get a little bit under the eyes. I'm using the NARS Soft Matte today, and it works beautifully with this foundation. In fact, it's worth noting that I have used the Bendy Avocado, the Giorgio Armani uh, Power Fabric, and my By Terry Concealer, and they all work magically. It's like they just melted in together with the Fenty. So thumbs up for that little bit of the forehead. Now your preference may be different. I actually love the way this looks in a mirror at you know two feet but when I'm looking in this 8x I'm thinking wow it looks pretty shiny. And I'm just powdering th this area of my cheek because I'm going to use a powder blush and I kind of don't want to take the risk of ruining everything by having some clumping going on. And the final look, I think, is pretty nice. So now I'm just going to give it the blush test. I mentioned I already did the NARS Orgasm in the liquid. It worked beautifully. And now I'm going to try powder. I'm just going in with a Chantecaille. So there is a little pull on my brush when I blend this in. It's not like going over something matte but there are no streaks whatsoever going on on the cheeks and I think it's it's even and it's fine. All right so far I have to say I'm in love with this foundation. I love this. I love this. The application is easy. It feels very comfortable. Um, it's I have nothing bad to say about it. I love the way it looks when I look in the bathroom at, you know, maybe you're two or three feet away from the mirror. It just looks like natural skin. It's a great color for me. Uh, every box is checked. I, I'm, I, I, I want to say I'm done. This is in my basket. I'm going to get it. But, you know, it's only fair. We need to give this at least six or seven hours, maybe nine hours. So far, just delightful. So I'm just going to finish doing my makeup 
I might come back and check in, but I will definitely be back later on tonight and let you know what my conclusions are. I'm back and my makeup is on and the powder blush went on well. I didn't do a bronzer today at all and oh, I wanted to tell you I used the Kush and then I put the Hourglass, um, not Climax, but whatever it's called, this little one, um, over it because that doesn't flake on me and maybe I can... It would be so incredibly high maintenance to have to use two mascaras but I did it anyway. Anyway, the face is still looking a little super radiant. Soon after I powdered the cheeks, which I really don't like shiny, almost immediately the shine was back. So I'm taking a larger powder brush and I'm just kind of rolling it into that area. And a little bit on the forehead. I'm not doing highlighter because got some glow going on here. I don't think I really need any. And I like to leave this area here a little shiny because I think that kind of opens up the eyes. Makes you look like you're more alert and maybe it's youthful. That's what I like to tell myself. But I am thinking this look is very pretty. I'm super pleased with this foundation. I'm going to zoom you in so you can get a slightly better look. And I'll be back tonight and we'll see how it wore. I'm back. It's about four o'clock. This has been on for seven hours and I think it has worn beautifully. It looks just as good as it looked when I first put it on. So I have a list that I want to run through. I'm just so deeply impressed. It's been a long time since I've been so impressed. Application is great. It's easy and it's fast. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Too Faced uh, Peach Matte in its texture, although the finish is completely different and the color is a thousand times better than what Too Faced is offering. It also reminds me a little bit of the It Cosmetics CC Cream and the Becca Skin Love, and I love both of those products, but they don't lay on the skin as nicely as this one does. However, in order to get that lay down very beautiful so that it is looking like it's absorbed in the skin, working with the skin, a part of the skin, you need that beauty blender. Otherwise, it kind of looks like it's laying on top, which I find that the It Cosmetics looks like in this area especially. Uh, coverage, I would say medium plus. When I added two layers, I don't feel that I had any more coverage than I do with one layer. Uh, maybe just a little bit, so it's buildable, um, but medium plus at the get-go, so that's a good plus. The finish. The finish can run depending on what your starting point is. If you're using a primer, if you're using a mattifying primer, there's several variables here. For me, I start with a very shiny face, and I find that the finish is dewy, but if you're starting with um, a more matte face or you're using a matte primer, you could very well get a skin-like finish. So I'm going to say skin-like to dewy. And the dewy can be controlled with powder. Uh, does it settle? It does not. It Even when I did two full layers with two different colors, it looked like it was going to settle into my laugh lines, but it didn't quite do it. It didn't settle into the forehead and it didn't settle into the 11s. The more you put on, the better chance that it could settle. So your mileage may vary, but for me it didn't. It just was on the precipice of looking like it would. And let's talk about buildability. When I did two full layers, so I put on the wrong color and then I put on another color over it, it did feel greasy and a little bit heavy, a teeny bit uncomfortable. But the finish wasn't any different than one layer. So it might feel greasy, but it didn't look greasy. And that might be important to consider if you really like to wear a lot of foundation. 
using liquid products with this absolutely fine it did not lift off it didn't move so that's a plus and powder worked well as well i did powder my face a little bit before i went in with the powder blush there was a little bit of drag but there was no skipping i didn't have a hard time blending that powder blush and i imagine the bronzer would be the same thing i just didn't do a bronzer today so that's a plus um, drying and dehydration. Those are two different things that I think people confuse. Dehydration, think of a raisin, how it's a little sucked in looking. And I have an area like right through here and right through here where I can see dehydration when something is drying. I didn't experience that with this foundation. It was not dehydrating and it's certainly not drying. It has hydrating in the title and I find it to be so. The finish is a teeny bit tacky but not uncomfortably so so you need to decide if that's something that you can live with the color amazing i went through all their colors and i left my notes in the other room but they don't just have 44 colors or how many ever colors they have in each color density or depth they have a broad selection. I consider myself light medium and light medium is underserved by almost every single company. You might have two colors in the light medium and in this one I think there were five or six and that's fantastic. But every group, almost every group, had about five or six. Um, Very Fair I think had four and Fair only had two. Um, and then light had several, medium light had several, all the way through the spectrum. So it's not just high we have a lot of shades, but we have a lot of shades in each category. So they're hitting those undertones. So for me this just checks every single box. It is in my cart. I am going to get it. So that's it. I know this is going to be a long one. I just wanted to show you what I was experiencing and how I was applying it and I probably talk way, way, way too much, but hopefully my summary really just checks the box for you. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate your time. I hope it was informative. I hope you might have learned something, and I hope you come back again. Until then, I'm wishing you a great day.